Hi there, my name is Kerry and I am the face behind the soap coach. Welcome to this little mini course teaching you all about five simple steps to create a, a soap recipe of your own. Um, so that's formulation in effect, which many people I know find really difficult, slightly overwhelming and quite probably overthink it. So if you're here, I imagine that you are a soap maker, a soap lover, um, a want to be maker maybe. Um, or user, but that maybe you want a little bit more information or a better understanding. It is a huge topic, um, but by the end of video five, you are going to have a much better all idea of how to formulate your own soap recipe without having to um, be a chemist, in a nutshell. <laughs> um, if you're not yet a soap maker, don't worry. Uh, this may well just pique your interest, give you a little bit of a, an idea of what goes on behind the scenes. And um, if you decide to go ahead and learn more, then I can help you with that too. So what makes a great soap bar? It very much is a case of personal preference, if I'm honest, um, but it is a combination of texture, properties, um, appearance, scent and colour. For some people, it might even just be the packaging. They might not really care what's inside, but it has such beautiful packaging that you just have to have it. And we've probably all been there. Uh, but most people want lather, longevity, i.e. the soap lasts quite a long time. Uh, they want it to be gentle on the skin as a minimum, um, or sometimes deep cleaning, depending on the purpose. Uh, and with a nice scent, or for some people, unscented. Um, if it looks good on top of that, then great. Um, but that's the kind of topics we'll be covering over the next four videos. So we will be looking at how to choose your base oils without getting overwhelmed, um, an introduction into essential oils and how to blend them for soap making, uh, using natural colorants that you will probably be able to find in your kitchen to color your soap. And then on the final video, video five, we'll be putting that all together and I will be whipping up a quick soap with um, a colourant that I can pretty much guarantee most people will have in their kitchen um, and how to use other bits and pieces that you may well find in your kitchen to decorate that soap as well. So that's what we'll be doing over the next few day, uh, next few videos. Um, my aim here is to give you an introduction on how to simplify things right down without overthinking it. Um, it's not a drive for perfection. You probably won't find that anyway. I think most of us um, are never really 100% happy with what we do. Um, creating a great bar of soap is not rocket science. It's just about having a little bit of an idea of what underpins the processes. Um, so on that note, I will leave you to have a little think about what we'll be doing over the next few days. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be all about butters, oils, what they bring to our soap and how to combine them to make your um, first formulation. See you in the next video.